Hey, it's Anfa. In this video, I will show you how to install Zen Fusion from Cake Studio Repositories on Pop OS. This video is an update. I've made a video already about this, but something's changed. Previously, there was a package in Cake Studio Repositories called zenatsubfx git. The Cake Studio Repositories were undergoing some major maintenance, and some of you noticed that there's no zenatsubfx git package to install, which would install the new Zenfusion user interface. But now, the original package zenatsubfx is the new package, and it contains the Zenfusion interface, and there is no other package. Basically, now, when you install Zenat SubFX, you get Zenfusion. There's no way to install the old user interface, which I think is good, because why would you want to use it if you just can't have the new one? But also, as I'm doing this video, I thought I could show the process from scratch, how you would install all the things you need and Zenfusion to play with it on something like Pop! OS. Another great thing is that he updated the website and you can go there and just download the dev packages for all the software, including Zenfusion. So if you're running Debian or Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Pop! OS or whatever else using the Debian package management, you can just go to kx.studio, which is a brilliant web address, I love it. Go to the plugins section, download the dev files, install them and you're ready to go. You don't have to install the kx2 repositories. However, I think you would be well served if you did so, because there's a lot of software there and it's easy to browse and install and update it. And it's a really great toolkit for music production on open source software on Linux. So let's do it! Alrighty, so here is the Pop! OS virtual machine I've set up. What I'm going to do is open Firefox. First thing I have to do is go to the KX Studio website kx.studio and there is repositories. I just click on this and here is the instruction for installation. So there's a few commands. We'll need a terminal window so I'm going to open that. Nice. Now I'm going to drag it to the right and drag this to the left so I have a nice split screen. And now we have to install mm, two packages that will be used during the installation, so I middle click with my mouse to paste the selection. Now I need to enter my password. It's going to install the two packages. First it's going to ask me if I really want to do that. I do. All right, this is done. There is also a line to remove legacy packages. Uh, this is basically to update your old Cake Studio repositories. We don't have anything installed, so that's not going to do anything. You see, it's ignoring the request because there, this package is not installed. Now we have to download the package that will contain all the KX2 repositories. And again, I'm going to select the last line, install the KX2 repositories. And we are done. Now to be able to install anything from the repositories, we have to update the package cache or package list. So I'm going to go sudo apt get update and now it's going to check out all the available software sources and ask what packages are available this will include the newly added cake studio repositories after that is done we can then install Zenfusion of course we can install it directly from the website you see right now it's checking out cake studio repositories <laughs> got some problems. Oh no. Why now? When I tried this, it worked. Why it fails now? Okay, maybe it's gonna work. Okay, something didn't work quite as expected, but I'm gonna check out if I can actually install what I need. So, let's go mm, apt get install cadence or sudo apt get install cadence. Cadence is a program for running and controlling the Jack audio server, which is an essential part of any Linux-based music or audio studio. And we're gonna need it to run Zenet SubFX. Not really, though. We could use the LV2 plugin in Ardor using Alsa, so Jack is optional. So I've installed Cadence. Now I can go Alt F2 
and I can just type in cadence. It's just faster than clicking on menus. And you can see we have the Jack server already started. If it wouldn't be started, I would just click start or go to configuration, change the sample rate. Oh, it started by it's running on dummy. Okay, so let's stop that. Let's configure it. Let's uh, do it on Alsa. Yeah, okay. Let's start. Instead of starting and stopping, I could just use switch master. All right, and the Jack is, server is running. So now I can install Zen and some effects. So let's go sudo apt get zin add sub effects. Oh yeah, I just need to install too. Mm. Okay, I already have it installed. That's good. Let's now run it. Alt F2, zin add sub effects. And see what we have. And that's zin add sub effects 3.05 with the new interface Zenfusion. Ta-da! Yeah! So that's how you install Zenfusion from the new KX Studio repositories. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Big thanks to all the people who are supporting me on Patreon and also LiberPay and to people who are buying my music. I'm slowly working on my next album. I've got a list of tracks and I'm slowly polishing them and making them ready. I'm really excited. Uh, I really want to beat my recent album Suppressed, which was already almost three years ago. So that's really time to drop some something new. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and this information was is going to be useful to you. Pop OS is cool. Uh, I really like their installer in the process. I've never used it before, but I thought I'm gonna give it a try just to demonstrate how you would use the new KX repositories. So you have a new web address, kx.studio. The repository is just, it's a bit simpler, there's less components to install, and there's the package ZenatsubFX. No ZenatsubFX dash git, so just forget about it, it's no longer there. The basic only package contains the latest and greatest Zenfusion. So yeah, now go and make some music with that. Oh, and if you would like to support this show and help me keep making videos like that, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa and drop in a buck or two or not now go and make some music with synfusion <laughs> <laughs>